Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've got something a little bit special for you. It's completely different to what I usually do. We're going to be using purely watercolours. So we're going to be painting this beautiful sunflower just here. Get yourself some watercolour paints. I've just got this little travel set that you can see has been well used. Got a paintbrush and you'll need some watercolour paper, something like this. But don't worry if you don't have any of this, you can just use normal paper. Just get practising and get painting. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start off by mixing up some brown. Just mixing it here. It's my little travel watercolour set. So useful, I use it all the time. Okay, there we go. I'm going to mix in the slightly darker brown, which is just here. There we go, brilliant. Okay, I'm going to load up my paintbrush and then I'm just going to draw the part where you get all the seeds from, the sunflower. That's where your sunflower seeds come from. So just drawing a shape like this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in there and some yellow ochre. So that's just around the edges, just here. And then the centre part, I'm going to use this really dark brown. Let's just add a bit more. And just let it kind of blend in on its own, just like this. And I'm just going to put a little touch of it just around the edges, just here. And particularly at the top here. It's very dark, just here. Okay, just like so. I'm going to add the tiniest touch of blue just to the centre. Really dark blue because that makes it look a lot, lot darker. There we go. Just the tiniest bit just up here as well. So it can then just blend its way. There we go. So next we're going to focus on the petals. So I'm going to use this wonderful cadmium yellow. Just mix it in there, tiniest bit of orange just here. And then we're just going to start off doing the petals. So just using my paintbrush on its side, I'm going to go in like that. Okay, I'm loving the way that it's kind of just automatically blending. I'm going to start from the centre now, work its way up, just like this. I'm going to go around doing the same. There we go. I used to love planting sunflowers as a child. They used to grow so high in our garden. Let me know in the comment section if you planted some this summer. Okay, so I'm just going round. I'm going to add a little bit more orange now, now that I'm coming around these sides, just so that all the petals aren't exactly the same colour. Just round here. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon yellow to this now. Then just to liven things up a bit. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of lemon yellow just behind these ones. Okay, carry on round. to carry on round here. Giving my 
my paintbrush a wash in between. A little bit more cadmium yellow here. Get a little bit stronger. mix it in with a little bit more orange just as we get further down got to be quite quick with these watercolors so that they can blend with each other because once it's dried it doesn't blend so easily like that I'm then going to do a little bit more this brown here just go back over this part We get some nice mixing going on here. I'm just kind of dabbing the paintbrush here. Get kind of a speckled effect. I'm just going to make the center darker again. Just about adding layer upon layer. A little bit more here. Okay, going to wash my paintbrush, do a little bit more lemon yellow, just for the background. Take away a little bit of the water off my brush. So it's just a tiny bit lighter. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to do the stalk. So I'm going to get this nice green color, mix it in with the brown a little bit. And then we're just going to, well, first of all, we're going to draw a big leaf that's just here. So I'm just going to load up my paintbrush. Nice big leaf just underneath here. Make it a little bit darker. Okay, and then we're going to do another leaf just here. Okay, now we're just going to do the stalk, so and then we're just going to add one more leaf. Okay, I'm just going to make it just a little bit darker on the underside. Add a touch more water. Going to draw the stalk and shadow. There we go. And that's our finished sunflower. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, check out my other flower tutorials, which you'll find a link here. And please consider subscribing and liking, and I hope to see you on the next one.